guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I'm out here with some of the dogs. I've got Velocity, Tommy Boy, Panda. Um, Daisy should be out here somewhere. And um, there's Daisy. And Nautica should be out here too. Nautica! Naughty! Nautica! And Nautica, there she is. And then I've got quite a few dogs in the back um, just hanging out right now. That's Remy in the forefront, looking all good in the structure. Uh, back, it's hard to tell. Annie's on the fence line. I think Habibi is up about closer to the house. Mm, Roxy is laying down in the middle. Asia just got up. Yeah, that's Roxy. And then Annie, or not Annie, um, Kona is somewhere. Yep, Kona's over on the edge. She's like um, on the edge over there. Anyway, they're all just chilling. And we're just chilling. Um, but we're about to be not chilling. We're about, she says, don't show her. Okay. You just did your hair though. All right, well, she doesn't want to be shown, and we're going to respect her privacy. Okay, so... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have to put Tillicum away, first off. Hello, Velocity. So we're going to put Tillicum away um, so that we can come in here and work. <laughs> look, at, look at Velocity. Um, yeah, so that we can um, work with... Uh, work with this this gate being open because what we're going to do is we're going to take down these um these pens <clears throat> and we're going to move them over here um to have a outside area to let the chickens in so initially we're going to have like a small area just for the for the meat chickens but after that i will expand it to include more more space but for now we're, we're working with what we got and i don't want the meat chickens like i would do the whole thing but i don't want the meat chickens like all like in every in every area because they're actually very messy and i just don't want them making it like worse, I want them in an area that I designate. Um, so yeah, plus, um, you know, I don't know. In my experience, once you get a closed flock, like I have, I'm not trying to introduce any more birds into my flock. So mm, cross contamination is a thing, and we dealt with some with some um, some stuff. I don't know exactly what it was, but you know, it burned out and. And it was over, but, um, I saw a lot of people online, so, like, lose a lot of chickens, um, this last year. But either way, we're good now, everybody is put away, and we just want to make sure that everybody stays good and safe and quarantined and all that stuff. So we don't want our meat chickens <laughs> anywhere near, um, anywhere near that, look at that. Look at her. She's beautiful. <whistles> oh, look at that. Here's another one. Structure. She is fantastic, dude. Panda is so amazing. That's all I can tell you. I just love her so much. She's like my quintessent. Like, so the head of the of them is just that right there is what I really like. Hopefully, Daisy's head. Um, she had a more bulldog head and now it's gone a little bit more bully. I prefer, prefer a more of a bulldog look, not extreme. And I want to be very clear on that. Um, I only mean bulldog influence because there are, um, panda, <laughs> panda, 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 there she is. Yes. I swear she thinks her name is Panda Panda Panda. <clears throat> What's up, Nautica? Sweet girl. What's up, sweet girl? Um, anyway, so 
but yeah, she's just fantastic. Um, and so anyway, her head, and I'm trying to like, I'm trying to really understand what it is specifically that I like so much about Panda's head. Now, she does have a bit more of an underbite than I would like, but she's young and that may change. Um, but I think there's, I think there's, um, I know that, um, the Daisy does not have as pronounced of a chin. Mm, she's got a huge head, but there's like a lack, like the chin is not as strong as I would like, not as pronounced as I would like. So, um, anyway, little things that <clears throat> I'm just looking at and kind of figuring out what, what I like and what I don't like and loving the freedom to be able to select specifically what I want and not to have to worry about any, um, about any rules or anything like that to, to inhibit what we do. Panda! What are you doing? Panda! <laughs> She's stuck. Panda! Panda, 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 panda! Yeah, good girl. Panda, panda, panda! Oh, they're the good girl. Oh, Tommy. Oh, Tom. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to pause and work. Daisy, get out of that chicken poop. Dirty girl. And then um, I'll update you guys like I did yesterday. Daisy. Psh, quit. What are you doing, Daisy? Don't you do that, you dirty girl. Dirty girl. Why are you so dirty? Why are you so cochina? Why? Why are you dirty girl? No, you're pretty, but you're, you're cochina. Okay, alrighty, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, you guys. It's later. I'm very tired, but we did it. This is how it looks. Oh, I'm so tired. Sorry, I'm like really tired. Um, so here we go. Here's the meat chicken enclosure. Um, we're gonna harvest, I think in like three weeks. Um, they'll still go up in their coop at night. I'm probably gonna pull. I'm probably gonna pull some straw in there because I had the hemp bedding and it's fantastic for the other chickens, but for these, oh, they are just pooping machines, man. Um, and so unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um, it's very expensive. It's like thirty. 30 something bucks for 30 pounds of it and it takes three of them to fill up one of these stalls and for the other chickens it works Ooh, so this right here you know this is how we've been um trying to keep our food costs down is with these meat chickens do it once a year this is like probably more than double what we did last year and i actually still have a little bit couple um chickens left over like that are in the freezer from last season i don't know if it's me or what but i feel like these chickens are taking longer to grow but i don't know i could be wrong um i got them i think they hatched around valentine's and then i, I think i got them on like the 16th maybe they hatched on the 15th i got them on the 16th something like that um but they some of them look decent sized, but some of them are really small. And I've got one in, in the barn still that just literally will not grow. I don't know what's up with it, but it will not grow. So anyway, I'm glad I got it set up for them. Um, they seem to be doing much better. Um, not like much better. They weren't doing poorly, but um, but they're like foraging and eating bugs and grass and and stuff like that. And I'm hoping that that 
that that has a has a good um has a good effect on them so i thought about like finishing them out the way that they do breast chickens because apparently what gives breast chickens the flavor is not the chicken itself but it's actually how they finish them out they finish them on milk and bread um and so and i don't know it's probably like a special kind of bread but um but anyway but by the time that these guys are too big for this space they'll be ready to to harvest that's the that's the idea oh man so anyway we got it done and um now that i'm done i'm gonna open up this barn so that they can go to bed i'm probably gonna have to treat i'm gonna treat with cora just because i saw one that was looking kind of down and i've learned with these with these birds that if you don't if you don't treat immediately the next time you'll come in you'll literally have see here's the here's the one that one is just like ugh. in fact i can tell you right now that i'm gonna toss that one after i'm done filming i'm gonna toss it out because so, okay so this is the thing about chickens is that you can have some that are just weaker genetically and they end up being vectors for disease so you have to get rid of them you can't no you can't just ow Oh, oh, bastard. Um, that thing bit me hard, man. Tell you what, dude. These are the these are the chickens that I swear to you. Um, they are savages. So, look at that. He literally almost broke the skin. Can you see that right there? That hole? Just from moving him. None of my other chickens do that. Um, but they bite and they bite hard. And I tell people all the time, if you if you try to come in here and feed them in the morning when they don't have food and you don't have like boots on like this, they will bite they will bite your boots. Um they'll they'll just bite you. Like um people worry about falling down with pigs. I promise you, nothing would kill you faster than meat chickens. <clears throat> anyway. Mm, well, I guess that's that. Tiny little white raptors. It's going to be dinner soon. And I know that some people may feel sorry for them, but I promise you, it's really good eating. <laughs> so, I thought I would care. I cared more last year. I was like, oh my God, I take care of them. But there's such little savages that I don't even care. Um, like, and I don't know how, how they, how it perfectly, cause you can breed a chicken to be big, but I don't know how they incorporated the, the meanness and the, um, and the annoyingness. Cause like, I'll try to come in and feed them. And I mean, they just storm me, just pecking at me, trying to bite me. You'll try to like reach down and grab their food thing. And it's like, they're all trying to go for your hand at the same time. It's like, you almost need gloves too. And you have to take the food away at night. Um, a lot of people don't know that about these guys, but if you just let them eat um, without uh, taking a break, they'll like they they can eat themselves to death. So, mm, <laughs> I mean, literally, these birds would like if you if you fell if you were old and you fell, they would eat you without like very quickly too. It would not take very long. <clears throat> anyway. Enough with the tiny angry raptors. Um, that's a hen. I got tagged by a rooster. Yeah, we won't. We don't have too much longer. Not too much longer. So. Anyway, alrighty. Oh, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna get inside. And um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.